Hello everybody, it's me again, your friendly neighborhood dog trainer. And I've shown you in the past that we have a pee area in our backyard that is mulch. That way our dogs have been uh, trained to pee in that area and they don't pee on the lawn. So our lawn stays nice and luscious all summer long. And I'm going to show you how I train that, but first let's show you what it looks like. So out we go into the yard. Okay. And uh, at this point, they're all conditioned, trained to follow me out. Chicken, Ollie, hey. Gotta stay on top of these dogs, you know. Ollie, free dog. So now Ollie goes last. Recess. All right, so basically my dogs know that once they go to the bathroom, once they pee, they can have access to the yard. Good girl, chickpea. Free dog. Ollie's always the last one. Now, I'm going to show you in a moment how that was trained. A couple of things. We, we use cedar um, mulch here because it tends to cover up the, the smell of the pea because now the pea smell is concentrated in one area of our yard right over here. Good boy, Ollie. Good boy, my friend. So I would say maybe twice a year I throw down some, some new mulch. Recess. Okay, so now everybody has gone to the bathroom and they get free access to the yard. And I couldn't care less if they poop in my yard because poop is not going to cause the, uh, the grass to go brown. And speaking of brown grass, you can see right here, if you've watched my videos for a while, you may remember there used to be a trampoline here. So I removed the trampoline and we planted grass, but uh, well, well, turned out okay, I guess. The grass is uh, starting to come back in. And also, I think I've shown this before, but over here we have our little poo station. So we have the poo bags on a roll here, and we've got our garbage can. So basically, as soon as the dogs poop, I go pick it up, clean it up, bring it over here, throw it in the garbage can. And in the next few weeks, our poo, our pee area is moving. So I'll take a little peek over the, the fence there. So as you can see, we just got our driveway paved and we still can't even park in it, it's so fresh. But that area right there where there's still some gravel, that is gonna be the new pee area. So I'm basically moving this old ass fence, it's gonna to get torn down, and I'm gonna make a new fence that comes out, and then we're gonna to have to replant this area with some fresh grass, so who knows how long that's gonna to take to grow, but eventually where the fence is now to the driveway will be our new uh, pee area and then this hopefully will be grass and we've got an even larger space in the yard for the dogs. But let's get to what I promised you, how I trained this. So let's start from scratch. Okay, so this is pretty easy to train. Chickpea come, and I'm just gonna show you with one dog. Most of you probably have one dog. Okay, and out we go. Good girl. Free dog. Okay, now Chickpea's already gone to the bathroom, so obviously I'm not gonna wait till she goes. But if she hadn't, I'd be waiting here in the pee area. She would be on leash. So this is done on leash so that we can control, right? That way our dog doesn't just bail out into the yard. They're not getting in, into the yard until they give me what I want, which is pee. I want their pee. I want their pee here. Okay, so let's say that Chickpea has pee. Free dog. Okay, so now we let her go in the yard. But just because my dog is now peed in the mulch does not necessarily mean that they are not going to pee in my yard somewhere. So a couple ways we can handle this. First of all, I've said this in videos before, our dogs are never out in this yard without supervision, never. And I know a lot of you leave your dogs in the yard and that's fine, I'm not saying you shouldn't. I'm saying we don't. Maybe my, maybe my neighbors come out and my dog barks at them. I don't want that. So I'm out in the yard so that I can give my dogs guidance. I can show my dogs the behaviors that I think are acceptable in our yard. Also, that's why if you take a look in our yard, there's no landmines sitting around because I clean their poop up as soon as it happens. And I like being outside. So even in the winter, I just throw on my, my winter jacket and some snow pants and I'm out in the yard. But I like to be out in the yard. If the dogs are out here, I like to be out here with the dogs anyway. 
but that's how we do things. Um, if you leave your dog in the yard and they're peeing all over your yard, uh, what are you gonna do about that? There's no way to stop that. Now, I would say probably the easiest thing that I would first try if, if our dogs peed in the yard, like that was the issue, we let them pee over there and then they went over and peed somewhere else so they were marking, this is what I would do. So let's say chickpea had peed in the yard. I would verbally mark it. So I would say no, first of all, so that my dog goes, ah, damn, that was the wrong choice. I would come over to my dog. I would clip them up on the leash and take them back inside. So essentially, the consequence in the beginning for peeing in the yard would be loss of freedom in the yard. That'd be it. They pee in the yard. I mark it verbally, no, so that they know the moment they're doing that, that that's what I was displeased of. I would go over and clip them on the leash, take them into the house. Now, let's say you tell me, well, yeah, but if I go to clip the leash on, my dog runs away from me. Okay, super easy. You're gonna take a training line. You could try your leash, but you may not be able to catch the leash. So then we're going to say a 20 foot training line. And this is not a tie out, right? Like your line's not attached to anything. It's just dragging on the ground, right? But that way, if my dog pees in the yard, I mark it verbally, no, and I come over and I take the training line. If my dog wants to run away from me and they're on a 20 foot training line, I can just catch them by stepping on the training line. I take them inside, and again, the consequence in the beginning for peeing in the yard that is not the, the designated pee zone is loss of freedom, I take them in the house. And the next time we come out to go to the bathroom, same thing happens, I put them over here. Once they pee, I let them have the rest of the yard. I talked about why we use some cedar mulch to try and cover the scent, but also the reason we're using the mulch is it's very different. As you can see, this is very different. This is a different surface than the rest of the yard. So it's very easy for our dogs to distinguish that's where you go to the bathroom and this is not where you go to the bathroom. Now, when I'm out with my dogs, like walking them or at a park or something, they, they pee on grass. So it's not that I haven't trained my dogs to, like, to not pee on grass. That's fine. They've just learned that in our yard, that's the area we expect them to go to the bathroom and this is the area we do not. And again, like I said, I don't care if they poop in our yard because the poop doesn't turn the grass brown. And that's really why I don't want them peeing all over the lawn. I don't want the lawn brown. Okay, so that's, the, that's really just the basics of how it's done. I would take the dog inside if they peed where they shouldn't pee and then they lose their freedom and they will learn through that. There might be some other processes that I put into place. Um, if you're struggling, you can always put a, a note in the comment and I can give you a bit more advice, but, but that's it. That's the basics, it's really that simple. Dog comes out, the leash is on so that you have control. Once they give you what you want, once they go to the bathroom where you'd like them to go, then you can take them off the leash. If you're having other issues, you can just leave a training line on and let them drag the training line around. And then once they're trained and trusted, as you saw, I don't have a leash or a collar or anything on. The dogs know what's expected. They follow me out. They wait to be released. They go to the bathroom and then I sort of do a secondary release. I release them from the bathroom area into the yard. Okay, so hopefully that helped you on how to train your dog to pee in a specific spot and the reasons why you might want to do that. Okay, until the next video, if you have any dog training questions, reach out to a dog trainer or myself. You can always fire me off a question in the comments. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.